In Tamil Nadu, we see a new flashpoint in Stalin government versus the governor of Tamil Nadu. Uh, in fact, the latest governor in the latest, Ravi, has declined to re-induct senior DMK leader K. Ponmodi into the cabinet, despite Chief Minister M.K. Stalin's request. Upon returning from a Delhi visit, Ravi has responded to Stalin's letter expressing concerns about Ponmudi's conviction not being overturned by the Supreme Court. Now, he's further highlighted the seriousness of Ponmudi's corruption-related offences and emphasized that re-inducting him would really go against the constitutional morality. Now, Ponmudi was disqualified as an MLA after the Madras High Court sentenced him to three years in prison in a disproportionate assets case in December 2023 Though the Supreme Court temporarily suspended his conviction and sentence, it appears that the governor says that he is not fully acquitted yet for him to be brought back into the cabinet. He is not an elected person. And it is for the chief minister to uh, swear in, some, recommend somebody as minister or remove somebody as minister. The governor has a raw role into that he cannot either, neither, he can neither remove minister nor appoint minister. But he does, that. he does not care for law. The problem is he does not care for the constitution. Being a police officer, he does not care for any law. That is what he has been doing here since his inception as governor into the state. So he will face it. Uh, the governor is uh, totally uh, wrong here. He has uh, not understood the legal principles, the constitutional principles involved here, he has uh, uh, either uh, not understood or deliberately misapplying the law here. He does not have the power not to uh, re-induct the uh, minister when the Supreme Court has granted a conviction. See, the question here is this. When, who can become a minister? A person who is qualified to become an MLA can become a minister. This is what the Constitution says. This is what the Supreme Court has a number of times has said. Now, Mr. Ponmodi, who was disqualified as an MLA after the suspension of the conviction, say of the conviction, has become qualified to become the MLA. When he is qualified to become an MLA, automatically he qualifies to become the minister. This is elementary jurisprudence. Now, Shilpa Nair joins us live for more on that. Shilpa, give us uh, a, a little sense into the insistence by the DMK top leadership to induct Ponmudi back in the cabinet again. We hear that MK Stalin has been urging and also a, a formal request has been gone to Governor Ravi, who has refused, saying there's still not a complete acquittal that's come about yet, so can't bring him back. Well, that's right, Nabila. In fact, uh, Tamil Nadu Chief Minister M.K. Stalin on 13th March uh, wrote to Governor R.N. Ravi saying that uh, Ponmudi should be reinstated as the Cabinet Minister. He had requested the Governor to administer the oath of office to K. Ponmudi. Now, Ponmudi was serving as the Higher Education Minister in the DMK government, but recently he was convicted by the Madras High Court in a disproportionate assets case, which led to his disqualification as MLA as well. Uh, however, Ponmudi appealed uh, uh, against this order in the Supreme Court, and the the Supreme Court gave him a relief. Uh, the Supreme Court uh, stayed his conviction and suspended his sentence. And after that, uh, uh, Ponmudi was once again reinstated as the MLA by Tamil Nadu Speaker M. Apau. And after following which, Chief Minister M. K. Stalin wrote to the Governor saying that Ponmudi should be reinstated as the Minister. Uh, he, he had, of course, sought time for 13th March uh, evening or 14th March. He had said that Ponmudi should be uh, administer the oath of office by either 13th March or 14th March. But on 14th March, the Governor, of course, left for Delhi for three days and we were told by Raj Bhavan sources that uh, the governor had kept this matter under consideration. He had sought legal opinion. Now that he has come back to Chennai, the governor wrote back a letter to the chief minister yesterday saying that he cannot uh, administer the oath of office uh, to K. Purnmudi. In fact, right. if I can just read out uh, what the governor said in his letter, he says the conviction of K. Purnmudi, though existent, has only been made non-operative. It has not been set aside. Apart from that, he says his re-induction the Council of Ministers, while he remains tainted of corruption, would be against constitutional morality. So these are the grounds that the governor has cited in his letter. But the DMK has wasted no time. They have approached the Supreme Court. In fact, DMK right. MP and senior lawyer P. Wilson argued that this is nothing but contempt of court. And the DMK has moved the Supreme Court, waiting to get some relief uh, from the uh, apex court.